Hi, I'm about to do my homework along with the sketchbook school students who are all doing the course called Seeing. And this week Brenda Swenson shows us some watercolor magic and also continual line drawing. And what I really like about her class is that she breaks things down so it becomes kind of easy to do. I won't say easy, but um, step by step. And I like learning step by step. So I am just going to grab some stuff, some random stuff here uh, from here around the studio, put that together and uh, I'll be drawing that following Brenda's lead. Okay, so this is what I will be drawing. A plant, a teapot and my sunglasses. Quite random indeed, but I tried to find a mix of shapes and colors that could be interesting. I'm using a Lamy fountain pen filled with water-soluble brown ink. It'll be interesting to see what will happen with my lines when I add watercolors later. Brenda tells us to slow down and really look at what we are seeing, so that's what I do. I slowly follow the shapes that I see with my pen in a continual line. I'm not lifting my pen off the paper at all. That actually helps to not think too much about overlap or perspective, as you need to spiral your way through the drawing. Also, because my ink is water soluble, I don't worry too much about wonky lines or lines that aren't in the right place or that overlap, because part of the lines will dissolve into the watercolors later. When drawing that teapot, by following the lines, I am drawing the handle in perspective without thinking about the perspective. It's really great to see that effect happening right under your nose. Because I want my sketchbook to be framed in this camera angle, I'm holding it a bit tilted. And now I realize I made my drawing in a tilted angle because of that. Oh well, I'll frame it in that angle and it'll make sense. Kind of. Time for some color now. Ooh, I like what's happening with the warm brown ink dissolving into the green. I make sure to stay away from some of the lines because I don't want them all to dissolve. Also, by keeping white, I create the effect of highlights on the plant leaves.
That teapot is white, but I see all kinds of shades in there. So I mix a light gray using brown and blue. Next time I will bear in mind that the brown ink dissolves into it and adds a bit of a warmer shade. I will add more blue for a cooler shade next time. Then again, I really like how you can activate that brown ink by simply adding a bit of water or paint. Let's give the items a bit of weight by adding a drop shadow. Then that plant pot needs a bit of color too. And then just that last detail, a dash of bright green in the corner. And I'm done!